Greetings and welcome my summer camp families. I am so excited. Thank you so much for choosing the J. Smith Young YMCA in Lexington for your child's summer camp needs. My name is Tanae, if you don't know me already. A lot of the kids, actually all the kids call me Miss TT. I go by either. So join me in this quick tutorial and a little bit of instructions for our summer camp this year. Stay tuned. Hi parents and hi after school families and camp summer camp families. This is T here. So I'm driving out to the camp and um, I'm on Greensboro Extension. If you're coming from Lexington, um, if you ever have to drive out here, but I wanted to drive out here so you guys can see what camp looks like. Also, I believe the sign is down. Um, coming to camp, the Ridge Road sign is down. So I wanted to make a video so you can see this is, uh, where to actually turn. Okay, so there's the Coca-Cola, uh, an old Coca-Cola building, I believe. There's a, like a bridge warning or something. It's actually right here. So you see there's a cloud Aberdeen and yes, the sign is still down. Okay, so they don't have the sign up yet. I'm not sure what happened to the sign. Hopefully it'll put it back up. But do you see all these, the church sign, the pilgrim signs and all of that? That, this is, this is Ridge Road, okay? So you'll know you're on Ridge Road when you see all of those signs over there. And let's see. And yeah, so there's just some of the things that you will see. But the greatest thing, uh, yeah, you'll see this gas station, City Lake Food. That is a good marker for you. Okay, stick, stay with me. Okay, we're coming up on the turn for camp. And there's actually a sheriff that just turned in. Um, to the to the road here is the actual uh, there's the house and this is where you turn it right here Camp Kiwanis and you will continue go to go down this road okay um, and I'll show you what camp looks like stay tuned <laughs>
this is the upper um, lodge area that we will we will have our lunch at and an afternoon snack. Um, I know you see uh, some refrigerators and things, but I am still asking parents and families, please do, if you do not like what we are serving for their lunch or their, or their morning snack, I, well, especially lunch, please do not send things to be warmed up. Actually, I don't, yes, please don't send things to be warmed up because when you have 120 kids and you're trying to warm up 15 or 20, that really puts us behind. And here is the bottom portion of the lodge. Once again, remember, this is still in the winter, so they haven't uh, completely finished setting up things yet. But I think the kids are going to love this. What do you guys think? I think so. I'm excited. This is also air conditioned as well. For my parents who used to come here, for my parents who um, you were one of my kids, I know we didn't have air conditioning when we were here. We had to rough it. It was hot. But, you know, different time, different age. So we're just glad that they get to be in air. Oh, and the cabins have air as well. Hold on. I forgot to mention this. I can't even believe I forgot to mention this. Huge shout out to my amazing staff. Um, love them so much. Looking forward to working with them again. Also, wonderful shout out to my amazing camp leaders to my uh my my a team i call them the a team mrs amanda mrs marion mrs Sharman, and mrs lindsay so happy to have the team back again yes god is good side note here remember about payment payment is the first payment for camp will be june the 9th okay uh because camp starts june the 12th first payment is june the 9th remember payments are every Friday, every Friday, um, uh, somewhere, you know, around three in the morning, something like that, in the wee hours of the morning. And it's for the prior week, for, for once again, June 9th is the first week of camp. I mean, I'm sorry, is the first payment for the first week of camp, which is June 12th to the 16th. And then June 16th, it'll be another pay uh, draft that will start for, that will be for the second week of camp, okay? Please remember, if you have signed up for a uh, camp for weeks and then later on something happens and you cannot attend that week, please email Kelly by Wednesday at noon, prior to that Friday, Wednesday at by noon, okay? And then if you, if you wait until the week of, that Sunday of, I'm sorry, honey. The, um, the draft has already been taken out on Friday and we can't and we can't give you any refund we can't give you a refund um, however unless you know there's different types of circumstances but remember Kelly is the one you need to call or to contact for the financial aspect if your child's going to be out I'm the one you need to contact or one of my leadership team um, or you can call the YMCA and they can call me but really you, you can I'm accessible email me or call me so thank you so much for walking with me throughout most of the camp um that concludes our summer camp parent guardian video tutorial um hopefully i answered some of your questions if not remember you can always email me there's my email or you can call or text me there's my number um, also, we will have a summer camp parent orientation June the 3rd, which is a Saturday morning from 9.30. Um, hopefully it won't be too long, but 9.30 until you feel comfortable with um, summer camp. And we'll have like a Zoom, uh, for those who couldn't make the Saturday, we'll have like a Zoom summer camp parent orientation on June the 5th. And we'll get that information out to you very soon. Thank you so much.